Hello everyone, I thought I would do a follow-up video to the unboxing that I did in my brand new Ender 6 3D printer. And one of the things I've discovered after playing with it for a couple of weeks is it really does need a bed leveling sensor like a BL Touch. That is something they added to my Ender 3. Really like it. So I'm going to show you all the ins and outs about adding one to an Ender 6. And one of the really nice things is that the printer is actually set up from the factory to accept one. You don't have to play around with firmware, you don't have to wire anything in complicated onto the board. It plugs into the little board here on the side. You just download the firmware and you're off and running. So the first thing you need to know about the Ender 6 is that here on the breakout board, the little circuit board that you plug all your sensors in, there's a little tiny connector, this little beige one right there, that's actually labeled for a BL Touch. So that's where it's going to get plugged into. If you take the hot end shroud off, you'll notice here on the bottom, all right, there on the side, there's two little bosses in there to accept the BL Touch. So the printer is actually set up for it, ready to go. So I have purchased a BL Touch. This uh, I think is a 2.1 or 2.0. My understanding is that uh, I don't think you want a 3.0. It may not be supported. So make sure you get this model. And the other thing you'll need is an extension cable. One meter should do the trick. Basically, we're going to go here from the hot end, wire it down, plug it in there. Now on this end here, you have the JST, the five pin connector. And it has sort of the regular connectors that go into the circuit board, but we'll snip those off because we won't be needing that. And here on the BL Touch, you'll notice it has, hopefully it focuses. Focus, there we go. Okay, so this is the same type of connector on there. So we'll use this end to go into the little circuit board on there. And then we'll wire up these to match up with, uh, with the wires on the BL Touch. So I have connected the extension wire to the BL Touch connector right here, the white wire facing outwards in this direction towards the extruder motor. So the BL Touch has been installed here on the bottom end of the hot end. Don't use the screws that come with it, just use a couple of computer screws. No springs, no washers required, just, uh, just mount it flush like that and leave the wire hanging out because we're going to wire this up here with the extension here in just a moment. Now my BL Touch kit came with some connectors. So I just uh, used the male ones here and I snipped off the ends of the other ones and I just wired them up kind of like so, with a little bit of electrical tape. I will test this out and make sure it works. Afterwards, I'll finish it up with uh, some heat shrink. Here's the other end here, the white and black wire. So let's wire this up and see what happens. So I have uh, just attached these wires with a couple of zip ties just to get it out of the way for now. And let's load up the firmware. The bin file is on the SD card. I'll link it in the video description. Put that in the side and let's turn on the unit and see what happens. I heard the BL Touch move. And it's booting up. Okay, let's see if we get any new features. Red light is a good sign. Very nice. And lo and behold, yes, we do get a new screen. So this firmware enables the BL Touch. So that's as easy as it is. You just plug it in, update the firmware, and now we've got this whole fun thing here. Let's do, a, let's see here, auxiliary leveling, auto leveling on. Let's see here, measuring. Yeah, it's probing. Well, folks, I'm going to call that a success. It's actually working. So there you have it. That's all that's involved installing a BL Touch on the Ender 6. Matter of fact, it's doing a leveling right now. It takes 25 different measurements if you turn on the auto leveling. It couldn't be simpler. You just buy a BL Touch, make sure it's the version 2. Cost maybe $45 to $50, depending on where you live. And make sure you get a 1 meter extension and uh, 20 minutes of your time. And you can have it up and running. Just make sure you use the firmware. I'll link it down in the video description down below. And uh, make sure you put that on the SD card, let it update, and uh, Bob's your uncles, they say. Thanks for watching. See you guys.